Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 8, I believe, of Hobo's Quest. And it's been a while, it's been four days since the last episode because I've been messing around with a few things. And Mill on Air, the mod got updated and I had a few problems with that. But I've got things working now, only Hobo, Welcome to Hoboville, the world's being a bit dodgy so I'm going to try and sort a few things out with that before I get started on the series again. Uh, I added two levels of wall up there, and in the last episode I left off talking about automatic farms. And here's one of the concepts, if you imagine this is one of the corners of a room shaped like that, the circular one. And all of these had a crop of some kind on it. Uh, if it was, say, reeds or sugarcane, it would be, the piston would be here so that it would be able to regrow itself, but for grain or wheat or whatever you call it this would be the one that I would use but I came across a few problems the first being this see there it would push all of the uh, crops and seeds off and it will fall down a hole and that would be multiple la layers of that happening but as you see here the ground is destroyed or un what's it called it doesn't have that so I'd have to go through and, as well as planting new ones, I'd have to do this to all of the all of the blocks, which just isn't efficient, isn't effective enough. And I found a wolf. And I saw someone in the comments say I should get a wolf and call him Roland from Welcome to Hoboville, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. So say hello to Roland, everyone, my trusty companion in Hobo's Quest as well as Welcome to Hoboville. I'll bring him along on a few things, but while I'm just walking around, he can stay in there, he can stay put. So that's one of them. I'm going to have to think of a new way of a, to like fix the hoeing problem. And then I thought of another way, using a method that I saw a while ago, but it didn't use pistons. So I adapted it to use a piston method. And imagine this was full of wheat, I can't be bothered... No, I've got no seeds. I can't be bothered planting any. But imagine all of this was full of wheat. And then I'd do that. And this would lift them all up and pull them all down. And deposit them all in here. And I would just step in there and pick them all up. And then even when I turn the switch off. It doesn't need to be hoed again. I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you now. Yeah, it stays like that, so all I'd have to do is hold shift and walk through it, plant them all again. It's a shame that we can't really do anything to do with replanting automatically, but that's something you just got to live with. Yeah, when I, when I got back on Hoboville, uh, the NPCs weren't spawning, and I went on another world that I made a while ago, and the, the NPCs were fine, so I like... I deleted the mod, reloaded it again, and the NPCs were there, so I like went off it and left it for a while while I came on here and did a few things, and when I went back on, they were gone again, and no matter what I tried, the mo uh, mo not mobs, NPCs, they just wouldn't appear, which really got on my nerves, so I'm going to try and find how to fix that. There must be a way because it worked to start with. And I'm not sure if I accidentally put wheat there instead of hemp. I think I just screwed that up. Um, These aren't growing properly. Although that looks a bit bigger than that. Yeah, this is a hemp farm. I know I said I've got an automatic one that I'm going to try and make. But... This was just like a, a small scale one that I was going to try and get done to get materials for the mill and whatnot. But they seem to be growing really, really slow. And I've got another little thing to show you over here. It's quite cool. I said I was going to make a secret door and that is it, what I did. I was quite happy because I'm, I'm not one who's very good with redstone. I don't know all of these crazy like calculators and 3D processors and stuff like that. See this is working well as well. Giving me plenty of, well loads of potential TNT. 
loads of arrows if, whenever I get around to making a bow. I could stay here doing this for ages, so I'm, I'm going to walk away. But here is like a tiny little library type of thing that I made. It's a bit <laughs> obvious, but I thought that was quite cool. A hidden bookshelf door. And then you can come down here to my secret hemp farm. But I read up you can't use torches to light these things up. You need a, a proper light source, a, a strong light source. It has to be either sunlight or a light bulb, which is from Better Than Wolves, or glowstone, I believe. So guess what we're doing today? We're going to go get some glowstone because I found enough diamond... To make me a diamond pickaxe. And I also got obsidian. Now it's just a question of where we're going to put it. I think I'm going to... Actually, it's not a good idea to use fire. Oh, whatever. I'm going to throw it down here. Just for the time being. But I will move it to a more suitable place. This is just so I can get the materials. I haven't got an axe, so I apologize. Uh -oh. I know you can do it with less obsidian, but I want to make it look more complete. Oh no! Wait there, I know where to get obsidian, so I'll be back in one minute. Ah, oh, can't believe I had one less. Ah. Hey guys, so I got the obsidian block really quickly from down in the the first cave that we explored, but I just noticed another wolf. Two more wolves. I know it's two more wolves. So I'm gonna try and get these. <laughs> Love me. There's three. Yay. Follow me. Come on. Love me. I'm giving you bones. Yeah. That's two or three counting Roland. Yay, we've got all three of these. Are there any others? Nope. Yeah, so, I don't know if you can see that over there, but there's another huge mountain like that one over there. So this is a pretty cool sea. There's another big one there, which is a bit more slanted, not as vertical, but I've got a really cool sea. It's not even, like, a pre-searched one. I just randomly generated it. It's really cool. So, there's I've got four now. One of them's called Roland. If you want to suggest names for these three, go ahead. And there's a pig. I need a pig. Because I'm gonna go to the, ooh, I'm gonna go to the Never now. Not sure exactly how much longer we've got, but I'll have enough time to get down there. Maybe get a bit of redstone, and not redstone, Neverack and glowstone. I'm gonna need salt. I'm gonna need pretty much everything from there, because a lot of things in the Better Than Wolves mod need things like that. So I'm going to bring all my tools. Mute. No more pigs. Oh, where did you come from? Alright, one meat. And I'll quickly cook them. No more wasting time. Actually, I'm going to cook these and get over to the portal. And then I'll be back then. Alright, hello guys. I'm back here with Roland. And sit down. Okay, there's all four of them. One of them's Roland. You can suggest names for the other three, but I'm not going to be able to keep track of which one's which. And we've got loads of materials. I need to stop messing around with all of this because, right, we're going. Let's go. I don't have a flint in steel. Wasting more time. But here's another cool thing about making all the big mob spawners. Look how much I've got. Look at all that. Two diamond left over. Have I got flint? 
<laughs> yes, I've got flint. Alright, good, let's go. Alright guys, here we are in the nether. But we've got gas and oh there's a lava pool right there. Let's I'm gonna dig a hole. Digging a hole. So I'm gonna quickly get together quite a few materials from Neverack to Soulstone to Glowstone and hopefully I should have enough to fully commit to making a load of Better Than Wolves items in the next episode. So let's see how long we've got. I might be able to get a few more minutes in. Sure. Let's just go. Let's get as many as we can get. I'm thinking maybe a stack of this. And who knows, maybe in later episodes I could make a a nether world, a nether base out of obsidian. In fact, I'd, whoa. This is quite cool. I didn't make a bow. I don't know why I haven't made a bow yet. But that could be a problem if if a big ghast attacks me. I forgot what this is for. Oh, cement. I might be able to like make molds and stuff to get cement to help build things faster. I just need to stay away from those guys. They're known for stabbing you in the back for no reason. Okay, glowstone. There's none in easy reach. Hmm. That's looking the lowest down, but I'll check around here. That Even that one, maybe? Yeah, I think I'm going to head for that. If this slow sand... Ah! I'm not sure what one, what tool best collects this anymore. But I'll just climb up there. I've got plenty of materials to use as building stones to jump up. Whoa. Don't look at it, it won't render and it won't lag my world. It's already lagging. Yes, I've needed glowstone for such a long time. This trip to the Nev has been quite overdue. I'll just get as many as I can now. And next episode should be fun. I'll make some finishing touches to my hemp farm with loads of light bulbs. Look at all of that down there. Mm-mm-mm. Alright, I think that's enough for now. Hey. Haven't even got enough room. Go away, Mr. Tinder. Plenty. I know it takes four to make one block. One full block. This should be enough. <laughs> Quite scary those noises. All right, so this is this has been quite a successful trip. So uh, I'm gonna stay out here for a bit, get a few more materials, and then I'm gonna head back. So in the next episode, we should be able to get straight into making. Oh god, that ghast is gonna attack me! Food at the ready. Let's go. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Hopefully, I don't die from now until then. Uh, yeah, see you later. Thanks for watching.